Hey guys, welcome back to the Wrong Wrong Playthrough. This is episode 47, and welcome back. I'd like to start off this episode with something I've been having with the Tinker. I haven't had a quest for three days now. I'm not sure what's up, but I hope Kabam fixes this, because what's the point of having this guy if I don't get a quest for three days? Because said, return 5 p.m. Pacific for more quests. No quests at all for a couple days. What am I supposed to do? By the way, if you hear music in the background, please don't. Well, you probably can't hear it because it's so dim, but just don't flag me for music. Okay. By the way, I'm trying to max my wizard 4-8 right now. I'm just farming death pots and all the pots and just feeding it to my wizard. I mean, attack and uh, death are the hardest to max right now, but I can just, I'm just farming abysses to get the death to sell for speed and dexterity so I can max out those two stats, because I would rather use a farmer account than use the account itself, that way it's a lot safer. Also, right now we have almost 800 fame, which means we'll have four stars on the night, I believe. Yeah, four stars. Which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm a red star. I don't really care about stars like Bold. He had a light uh, blue star. And he, like, had 6-8 night. It's like, stars don't matter at all. That doesn't signify how much... How good you are. In my opinion. I mean, I could sit on the fame train for a week on my character just to get a white star. But I don't think it's that important. The only reason why I would sit on the fame tr Sorry, that was a really bad voice crack. I'm going through puberty right now. So, my voice does that. Um, so yeah. <sighs> By the- So- Oh, I forgot. The only reason I do a fame train is because of, um, a pet. So, right now, if I ran out of fame for my pet, and I'm trying to max him, then I would need that. By the way, if getting a rare or higher pet, what I do is just uh, try to run as many manners as you can because their UTs are great feed power and they drop quite commonly. It's not like they're in white bags or anything. They are now dropped in blue bags, I believe. All of them are now dropped in blue bags. I haven't got the wand yet or the puri, but actually I have got the wand. I fed it. Um, I haven't got puri yet, though. I'm not sure if puri drops in. A white bag or not. Don't feed a Puri. I it's kinda worth the thing. Uh, other than that, is there any guy anything you guys know that has good feed power or anything that is not like a good item? Like I know I know the Sprite World UTs are also good to run to get I mean, sprite rolls are good to run to get UTs, so you can feed those to your pet, but, yeah. So, I'm probably going to make, like, an archer or something just to fame farm on till I get about 9,000 or 10,000 fame to where I can max my pet max rare. And once I max my pet max rare, it's going to be a lot easier to play, I guess. And the only reason I want it is just so I can chain stun. I mean, I'm. This is. Being able to chain stun is so awesome. Aw, oh, rest. Oh. That sucks. If you get Ancient Stone Sword and then die, that would suck. Yeah, you get it in it, in the Oryx, and then you die with it on. That would suck. Okay. Abysses. There, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay back more because I've been noticing I'm getting getting low health, getting a little more risky than usual. I want to stay back, keep my knight alive, so I can max my archer, and then get some life, pots, get well being, and then, then I can start getting a little more risky. But right now, I want to keep it safe, good, don't die. Uh, the only UT I kind of want now on my knight is sea sword i mean i 
I've had one C sword and two C ones, and people, people envy me because of that, because it's like C wand is a lot more rare than a C sword, but I would personally like a C sword right now. I mean, if I play a wand class ever, the only one class I usually play is Priest, because that's just a backup, good pack backup character. Unless you die by Geb for no reason at all, like I did. I'm not sure what happened at all. I mean, Geb just... I mean, the only explanation I would have for that is grenades hit me or something. And I died. Or an artifact sat on me while I got a grenade or something. Or Nut went into rage phase and then his artifact hit on me. I'm not sure what happened. But I die is like instant death, not I mean, mouth is is super easy right now. I mean I could just D-blade him. The only time I switch is on these small phases. I just try to get as much DPS in right now in the phases, so I can just kill him right there. Bam. All this stuff. Okay? And then basically you every like a bit two abysses, you'll have three defense, which is really good. Is that gold dollar? I swear I saw gold dollar. That would be awesome. So let's lock gold dollar. No, no, no. Gold dollar. No, okay. I was gonna say that is awesome. Ooh, rip. Rest in peace. Wow. I think that's a 3 8 or 4 8 grave. That sucks. I've died 3-8 to Medusa on my wizard. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it's really nice to be able to kill the constructs now because you can get, uh, you can get like attack pots from them. And oh, don't want to do that. I'm not sure how that happened. And that yeah. So we're on a sprite world really quick. I could probably do it. Yeah, I can. I can do it in time. There we go. I mean, I just need the dexterity for my wizard. Although I could sell this for uh, dexterity because it's, it's three one, which is pretty easy. I'd rather run abysses than a lot of sprite worlds because you're getting more for your time in abysses if you rush them. If you can't rush them like me, then well, I I can rush them. I just prefer not to. I mean, if, it's, if you're with a big group of people, like, not big, but if you're with a group of people, then it's pretty easy, because you just uh, help with everybody. Actually, I should probably D-Blade, because Lyman does, like, no damage at all on a knight. And the turrets do seven, but they're consecutive, so you'd rather not hit them. There we go, Dexterity Pot. Awesome. So that's how I get my most of my pots if I have a farmer account. If I don't, then I usually make a farmer account and then do that. So I'm going to do another sprite world just get all these dex pots. Because max dexterity on a wizard is 75, which I need that. And here, you get attack pots from those guys. But I didn't get one, it's okay. You get like one in every like... 10 I say no not 10 maybe like 20 or 30 which is it's better than the godlands rate because in there then you don't get it as much as in here and they're quite common in here the nature sprites I'm not sure if that's what they're called I know that's what the green ant things are called but I think they're called nature sprites Uh, Lyman, I wish I'd, uh, electric, but you can't, you can't wish for everything on your pet, because, yeah, you either get MP heal and HP heal, and then, yeah, basically like that, you can't really get electric always, but that would take a really long time to max anyway. Thank you guys for watching, this has been episode... 46, I believe, of the Rotmic playthrough, and I'll see you next time. Bye.